So, first of all, let's dive in. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Why? So, why would we want to buy in a limited company? The headline reason. So, should we just introduce John Prop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, John. Introduce... Hello. So uh, on, on that, on, on, yeah, yeah, on, on that, I'll, 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 I'll introduce you. I've already, already you have to do it all by yourself. Thank you. Um, on that wheel, um, and by the way, that wheel, when I know that when some people say, oh, they've got a six point plan, they've got three objectives or whatever, it feels like a little bit of marketing BS. That plan is genuinely the plan. It didn't look as pretty as that, that I've run my business by <clears> and have done for five, six, seven years, and just organizing it that way, having a plan, people who plan, get better results. But on that plan, spec number three is the power team. And having a power team, which I don't know, you might think it was a corny word, we thought twice about calling it the power team, but actually it really mm. describes what we do. It's that we, we have got people who they, they look after my properties, solicitors, mortgage brokers, accountants, and they're in the flow, of the, yeah, you can find lots of mortgage brokers, but they're not all specialists, no. they're mortgage brokers. And, and as you come with accountants, that's where John comes in. John same. was initially a client of ours. He's an accountant, he's my accountant, um, and he's a property investor, so he's you know fully engaged in it. Um, can you scroll down the middle there? Yeah, you absolutely. I mean, you've got, you've got somebody here who's in the flow of things and doesn't just know accounting, property, buy to let, but specifically how our clients, John's our accountant for lots of our clients, not all of obviously, but, but for lots. Um, and because you've got that knowledge, you, mean you can have those conversations that John even knows the other parts of the power team. I'll go have a conversation with Charlotte or whoever, whoever, and yeah. that solicitor will do it. And they've got the system down pat and that, that, that shaves time, uh, that expertise, it, it keeps everything. That is the, that's, the, that's part of the magic, that's how it comes because keep things going yeah. so, so why then why absolutely why essentially to stay away from section 24 tax right mm -hmm. offset all of your mortgage costs income um do you want to explain explain section 24 tax yeah, yeah sure well, then, so in case everybody doesn't know what happens why section 24 tax things have changed mm -hmm. and section 24 means that you could potentially be paying tax on a phantom profit if the property is owned in your personal name previously 10, 15 years ago, there were not too many mortgage products for buy to let companies. All of that's changed. So naturally people would have properties in their personal name. Legislation changes as it always has the potential to. <laughs> and now there's a lot of very large landlords with large portfolios who are in a very sticky place. Okay. There are also other landlords who have a few properties and they're in a less sticky place, but they have less maneuverability. So, a limited company is the vehicle to solve this. Going forward, yes, absolutely, it's very easy. It's about people who already have properties. It's a very bespoke thing. People have different circumstances, different companies. Yeah. But Section 24 means that you could be, you get a tax credit from, I'll keep it very simple, but you cannot claim your mortgage interest in your personal name anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm